Here's what happened. Xander Shoffley and Patrick Cantlay led wire to wire to capture the Zurich. This is a team event that's comprised of a pair of players. And despite the fact that they set the 54 hole tourney record, their lead shrunk to just a single shot on Sunday. But nobody ever got even. No one ever took it from them. And then the pair steadied and won going away. Both players get credit for a PGA Tour win. All right, let's bring in our guy Kyle Porter to break down what happened in New Orleans. All right, Kyle, I saw the winner. They won wire to wire, lead shrunk, they hung on. Cantlay, Xander Shoffley. What's your headline here uh, for what just went down these last four days in Louisiana? Yeah, I think the headline is that you can make the case that, that Xander Shoffley and Patrick Cantlay are the best uh, team, the best duo, the best two player team. Uh, in the world. They've been doing this for a while now. You know, they paired at the President's Cup in 2019. They finished T11 here uh, last year. Uh, they scored two points at the Ryder Cup last September. And then they go wire to wire here. Uh, EK, you know how volatile this format can be uh, with alternate shot and best ball and everything going on. And for them to go wire to wire to shoot 59 on Thursday, to back it up on Friday with a 68, and then 60 on Saturday and, and kind of coast to the win today, I think that's super impressive to go wire to wire. It's one thing to do it as an individual, uh, but to do it in a team event where, you know, guys can go out and shoot 60, 61 pretty easily. That's really, really impressive to me. And it, and it proves, it makes their case as maybe the best uh, two-man team in, on the planet right now. Yeah, I mean, whether it's horses for courses or guys just like certain formats. I mean, for example, Ian Poulter, is much better traditionally if you look at his record in match play, head-to-head -head type of events. And other guys have not really loved that kind and do better in the field events. What do you think of this format? And, and what does this format say other than it's a break in the calendar from the regular way we do things? Yeah, I don't know that it says a lot um, because, I, you know, these guys go out and do it in match play. Now they do it in stroke play. I, I don't know that it tells us a ton, but I do like it. And, and I almost wish... You know, I know there's been talk around making the entire tournament alternate shot. That would be really appealing to me. I think that's a more compelling format because it's more difficult. It's not just, you know, best ball gets a little bit uh, scrambly where you're shooting 60 and losing to a team on that day. I, I don't know how compelling that is, but I do like the alternate shot. Uh, I've heard uh, maybe like a worst ball thrown out there instead of a best ball. I think that would be interesting. So there's a lot of different ways you can go with it. Uh, it's a field that's attracted really good players because the players love it. 10 of the top 20 in the world uh, were at the Zurich Classic this week. And, and to me, wherever the top players show up are the best events. So anything that gets them there like this, I, I think is a great thing. If I told you either Cantlay or Shoffley over the next, year or for the rest of the season however you want to say it would make a move and go to a new level which one of those two do you think would be more likely and why that's a great question uh, you know i think i think cantlay has more room to grow at the major championships specifically he's got a surprisingly uh he's got a surprising lack of top tens and real contention at majors sanders been in a lot of majors he hasn't won one yet uh he hasn't really like been in the mix over the final holes yet but Cantlay's got some got some work to do at the major championships. So that to me would be uh, would be not that surprising if he goes out at the PGA or the U.S. Open, finishes top five, and you can say, okay, even though Patrick Cantlay won four times in 2021, he kind of took a step up in 2022 because he was a contender in uh, those four most important events of the year. All right, time now for the perfect fit presented by Bonobos. Look good, play good, repeat. Kyle, who's the perfect fit and why? Well, I, I got to say that Patrick Cantlay and Xander Schauffele are the perfect fit together as a team. I, I go back to that President's Cup in 2019, EK, and they teamed up for two points at that President's Cup. Uh, they went 2-0-0 at the Ryder Cup as partners in alternate shot. They played both, uh, both of those sessions. Uh, they finished T11 here at this tournament last year and then obviously go on to kind of route the field. Uh, this time around. So those two guys, you know, there are other players that are better. Even Colin Morikawa and Victor Hovland in this field were ranked higher. Uh, but in terms of a, a, a perfect fit together as a team uh, in team events, I got to go Patrick Cantlay and Xander Schauffele. Well done. And you can see why this doesn't seem to be an accident. These guys, I mean, don't, don't, don't break up the band. You got to run it back <laughs> if you're Schauffele and Cantlay. Well done, Kyle Porter. Certainly appreciate that.
Uh, you want more Kyle? Rest of the gang, here we go. Part of our great family of CBS Sports Podcast. It's the first cut. You download, you subscribe, you enjoy. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.